Hey guys, Adam Shaw here from Bavura Media Company. Today we have a vintage map of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania that was produced in 1902. As you can see, it is a perspective map. We get to see the different buildings, the streets, the bridges, the boats, the even cars. So let's take a quick look at this beautiful map. We zoom in. We can see the Allegheny River right here. We have boats going down it. We zoom in, we can see the different buildings that are in downtown Pittsburgh. Here's 2nd Ave. We can see different aspects. Here's Water Street, and this looks like there's a rail, rail car that goes over here and connected with a bridge over here. Here's the Monagalea uh, River. I'm sure people from Pittsburgh are probably like, what? You can't pronounce it. But uh, yeah, Mono, Mono, <laughs> sorry if my pronunciation's wrong. Uh, but you know, you look at this, this map, you can see the bridges, you know, throughout uh, Pittsburgh, you know, they're beautifully laid out on this perspective map. Let's take a look at the numbers because we're seeing numbers here. Here's three. Here's four. Let's take a look at the, the legend, see what those buildings are. Here's three. P and L E Railroad Station was three, which is right here. Huh. Six. I wonder what six is. Where are we? A post office right here post office to the northern part of downtown Pittsburgh 12 right here hard to see and here's 9 as well and 14 wow let's take a look at 12 9 that's 13 6 these numbers are kinda hard to see but you can kinda pick them out 16 10 it's a lot a cluster right right here let's take a look at 12 Erot Building, and you got People Savings Bank, Frick Building, Carnegie Hall, uh, 15. Where's 15? The lot right here. There's 15, Carnegie Hall. So, I mean, you know, quite a beautiful map, to be perfectly honest. Uh, you get to see kind of the people, you know, down here and the horse and buggies. There's a lot of detail in this map, the Ohio River, labeled right there. You know, a railroad station right here, railroad cars, um, even the streets on the uh, across from Pittsburgh are labeled. So I mean, this map is is detailed. It's detailed, windows, architecture, and everything. So the you know, quite a treasure, quite a treasure. So we at Bavura Media actually offer this vintage map of Pittsburgh on various different products. We have this on wall posters that can be framed. We have this on wrapped canvases. We have this on kitchen towels, on postcards, on stamps, on flip-flops, on plates. We have this on watches. We have this on clocks. We have this on dartboards. We have this on notebooks. We have this on post-it notes. We have this on many different products. So if you're looking for office supplies or decorations with this or or maybe a historical gift, maybe someone's a historian of Pittsburgh and they, and they want, you know, it's their birthday and they want a gift or a retirement gift, check out our products below. We have a link listed below this video. We have about 100 different products listed and you might, you know, need some decoration or, or a birthday gift. So check out the link below. Subscribe to us. We have many, many, many different maps available through our site. We have uh, maps of Pittsburgh, of uh, Philadelphia, uh, other cities, New York, Chicago, Pensacola, Florida, 
uh, at Los Angeles, Seattle. We have so many different maps. So subscribe to us. If you are you're a cartography lover and you love maps and you love history, check us out. Subscribe, comment, and like us. Follow us. We're on Wanello at Bravura Media. Um, and that's about it. I can't think of anything else. Uh, everyone have a great day, and I will see you guys soon. Okay, take care. All right, bye.